Controversy surrounding the Ground Zero Mosque. Producers of a new documentary called Sacrificed Survivors, the untold story of the Ground Zero Mosque, have been denied permits to screen the film in New York. New York City Mayor Bloomberg citing, quote, content concerns. Hmm, I doubt Rudy would have an issue with that film. But Florida rep and former Army Colonel Alan West is saying, bring it to D.C., I'll even host the darn screening. Good for you, Colonel. I agree. We need to tell the Muslim world the extremists who want to build a victory mosque on that sacred burial ground need to just move that mosque. Kimberly, yes. they have a right to do it constitutionally, but it's not right for them to do it, build that mosque right there. No, well, we've talked about this, covered it on your show many times. I mean, this is a situation where I think that it's going to cause far more problems than the gains that it will give for the individuals involved, the people that are truly passionate about this. And I admire um, Alan West for actually coming forward and trying to show something, educate people. I don't know why New York is not allowing him. I mean, what about the rights to be able to show a film like but this? I, I mean, it's infringing on First Amendment rights. I was one of the first people last year who was saying they have a right to build it, but it's not right. You know, it's not nice at this point if you believe that you have to let them build it because that's what america is if they want to build it and you say it's their right then you got to put your money where your even, mouth is even if, oh, even even if, if it's in bad taste no, no, i think it's terrible found on top of that building what right? can you but you're saying they have a right to do it and you, you think it's terrible which is i agree but at a certain point you have to say if they want to be jerks this is my my solution is Get, buy a billboard, put it across the street, it's and say, thank you, jerks, we, love America. Can we take it's a peek at this film? Kimmy, I'm sorry. Can we just take a, a quick peek at what this film is all about? This is not a mosque. This is a cultural center. It, it's as if they're dancing on the graves of, of, of those that they killed. And he wants to put a Sharia-compliant mosque and cultural center two blocks away from where Sharia-compliant Muslims murdered almost 3,000 people. Now go ahead. Oh uh, boy. Monica, that summed it up right there. Sharia Sh oh, Sh compliant absolutely. mosque a couple of absolutely. feet away from where. First uh, of all, Alan West is an American hero them. who fought Islamic terrorists and extremists in Iraq and Afghanistan. I think he knows something about the yes. nature of the threat we're facing. That's first of all. Secondly, there is some indication that the building of this mosque is actually a Muslim Brotherhood operation. And I know that most Americans believe that the Brotherhood is only in Egypt and the Middle East, but they are here. They have been here for a couple of decades and they've put Put in writing in their own words that their objective is to infiltrate the United States by building these cultural centers and mosques they win. in order to undermine the United oh, States. From they win. win if See, they that's the Bob, thing. Bob, they why, why is Bob so quiet? And why not move it, Bob? Because I was asked to be quiet. Um, <laughs> the uh, no, I'll, I'll just let me just go again. down through three. If I could get through a sentence, go through three. One, you declared this a victory uh, mosque. That is not what it is. One, two. Alan West is doing this because Alan West is a politician who knows a good story, knows how to get in front of the cameras. He's very good at doing it. I give West credit. Let's not bring in his big, big uh, hero stuff here. This is for, for Alan West to get more publicity. And the last thing I'd say is this mosque, it, you're going to have to get, I, we all understand 9 11. But you got to get over this. But Bob, in New York. you don't. You the don't rest understand. of us are being affected by it. Bob, you don't understand you Islam about? as it's practiced today. Once today, I understand but, Islam very well, and for you to suggest let me finish that this, no, okay, you don't, I will. because in Let's Islam, finish. as it's practiced today and interpreted by Muslims around the world, once territory has been conquered for Islam, it's to be retained for Islam. That's what this mosque is all about. You're, at ground you're, zero. You're, uh, we'll have to have a long discussion about the Muslim Brotherhood. Something I do, do know a little bit about. The idea that the Muslim Brotherhood is behind every closet and we're here and the Sharia law fear. You better wake you up, all, to you, all, Bob. you all are just. You're raising well, a straw, straw, straw I, dog here that is, does nothing to it. I, nothing. Why are they forcing? Let's, yeah, let's not, bring this no. uh, the Sharia law. Bob brought it up, but the yes. Sharia law. I mean, there are certain Muslim communities, certain uh, Muslim states that are governed by Sharia law. So to, to say it's just an about, ideology or political right. religion, Bob, that's inaccurate. I know, no, I, I agree, it is, is but more. it's not here. Bob, with all due respect, I'm saying it's just naive to assume that this is something sweet and innocent and we're making too big of a deal about it because there is a concerted effort and a movement to infiltrate and to indoctrinate with Sharia law and for Sharia law to be the rule of law in this country. You know, We've already had this in a number of states where they have over uh, two dozen states that are enacting specific laws to prevent Sharia law from being used as defenses 
in our courtroom. We have the Constitution of the United you know, States, supreme law of the land, and you think that it's okay to I, go ahead I and I think this it? reminds me exactly of when we put Japanese Americans in internment camps in the Second World War because they were about? some great fear that they were going to be on, cells Bob. in the United wake States. Wake up. Did this you ever It's not a question of wake <laughs> up. You all got to get <laughs> out of New York and rest. the rest of the country no, are not so obsessed God. with this thing like you. I never Dr. opened up the bar, but I, the best way to deal with this is always with, you know, good-natured mockery. When I when they were planning the mosque, I addressed the, I told them that I was going to open a gay bar next door Remember because that? Uh, because Islam they don't like gays. That I thought was the best way to deal with something like this. You don't come at them like they're evil. You come at them and you mock them for something. But, but There's but only Greg, 110 asking, million billion of them, right? Listen, million. I don't think we should get over 9/11. Never. Uh, I would never say that to the families of people forget. who have you, suffered and you, lost lives. This is I, something I that we think, need to own exactly as part of our history we'll and what's happened to us. We got to forget. We got to leave it right here. More five after this. Five. 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 What is it? Tell me, tell me.